Hello and welcome to another video by Beerbox Vape. And today we are going to be doing another juice review, and this one is going to get ooh, a bit jeffy. Right, so today I'm going to be reviewing eight juices that are actually from Jeff. It's their Jeff Original series, and one of their special other juices they've got as well on their website. Now, I keep saying Jeff, let's talk about them. Their name is Juicy Fruit. And as you can see by there, Juicy Fruit. What they are is a, another UK company based in Bournemouth. That's down in South, South England. And what they do is like, they produce kind of everything. They've got your, your juices, they've got your specialities, they've got your menthols, they've got everything. They sell clothing. You name it, they sell it. Anything to do with kind of juices. And what they've done is they were very kind enough to send me a sample of their Jeff Original range and uh, they want me to review it for you here. Right, so Juicy Fruit, also known as Jeff, are a UK based e-liquid company based down in Bournemouth. And what they do is they have sent me, kindly sent me, a selection of their Jeff Original range as well as one of their speciality ranges. For me to review for you guys here today and uh, what they are is they're a really fun company if you check out their website which is juicyfruit.com have a look through you know there's goofy photos and things like that on there follow them on twitter and uh, say at juicyfruit2015 and really really fun updates they do uh, they do everything they do clothing as well as like say their original range they do a max vg range they do their menthol range and they we've also got their speciality range as well which is two bottles here and it's the king's vape and or king's ship vape and what this one is is the first one is cola carva which they sent me which is a mix of cola and champagne now from reading my blog if you read that watch my other videos i love 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 cola flavored vapes i've been searching for the perfect one and they say they were kind enough to send this to me as well for me to review and they also do another one as well called Pear Seco, which is pear and champagne, which I'd say is equally just as good. So, because there's a lot of juices, trying not to make this video too long, we're going to dive right in and we're going to start talking about the juices. Now, the first one they sent is a one called Fruit Salad. And what this is, is this is a sort of a, a fruity, remember the sweets, fruit salad sweets that you used to get when you were younger? And this is basically their take on there. They were, what were they? They were the pink and yellow, I think. Pink and yellow. You'll probably say in the comments. <laughs> and I used to love them as a kid. You see, still see them in the shops nowadays. And uh, you sort of, you can still try them and they are. Uh, they just bring you straight back. So I say this is their first one, fruit salad. Now all of their juices are 50-50 PG, VG on their original range. And this cola carva is actually a 60-40, 60 VG, 40 PG. So what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to be vaping sort of everyone in front of you because um, we'll be here all night doing that. So like I say, what I do when I receive juices to review, I sit them all out, open them, smell them, give them a try. If they taste okay straight away, I'll start vaping them for about a week and then I'll look at them after the week and say, right, which ones have I vaped? Because, you know, when you're getting juices, when you're getting a lot of juices like this, it's very easy to get them mixed up with the flavours as well of which ones you've got. And so, I'd like to say, I just I take two or three to work every day, just sort of try try them, vape them, and then I see, like I say, at the end of the week, which ones I like, which ones, you know, I'm not so keen on. So, like I say, this first one is the fruit salad. And the flavour of all of these juices, I say, especially to say the first four that I'm going to do for you is just unbelievable there's so much flavor for some people it may be even a little too much flavor but for me it's perfect and i think as well that's because i'm used to vaping the higher vg so you're losing a bit of the flavor there obviously in place for the vapor so oh, straight away like i said it just takes you straight back to when you're a kid with the fruit salad sweets on this one so like i said that's the fruit salad it's so so good that one now the next one i'm going to try for you is another one of my favourites and that is the Current Affair and the Current Affair is a black currant vape and this one as well when you smell it oh, they're just 
this one reminds me of when you know if you go if you've got any black currant sort of cordial or black currant juice in your cupboard or whatever, just go and over now, open the lid, smell that, and that's exactly what we've got here. Exactly, it reminds me of let's say this was when I was younger. You know, you used to make um, kind of like ice lollies yourself, and then you used to kind of just mix kind of water or a juice together like water and cordial together, and then you used to mix it into a, like a little pot, put it in the freezer, and then you'd have an ice lolly. But obviously what would happen is it would separate as it was freezing. So at the top it would be really watery kind of taste, and at the bottom it would be that real thick, kind of more of like a syrupy kind of taste. And that's what you're getting with this. This is what it reminds me of. Even just drinking straight black currant cordial. It's really, really strong this flavour. So good. And considering they're 50 50 as well, the vapor production you get off them is really, really good. Really good. Now, with these juices, when I receive them, um, as normal, I'm normally at work when I receive them, so I get like a little sorry we missed you post thing. And when I have to travel to the post office and go and collect them, and you know, I've been emailing back and forth to Jeff, um, talking to them about they were going to send me some samples. Really excited. Told them I wanted them all in three milligram. And they sent them to me, so straight away, and they're sitting in the car in the car park. I open it up, and this was the first one I tried, the current affair. So I was like, oh, black current, one, let's have a go. And I tried it, and it tasted very powdery. And I was like, hmm, maybe it was just the kind of the leftovers of what I had in, in my tank as well, you know. And I was sort of thinking, oh, okay, maybe I'd just mix in, it's not very good. So I came home, re-wicked it, tried it, and again, it was very, very powdery. So I tried another one. I can't remember which one it was, one of them, same thing, really powdery. So, uh, so what I did is, I found with these ones, is I had to steep these, I had to breathe these, you know, for a couple of days before I could try them. And now doing this, it's just over a week ago they sent them to me, they're getting better and better and better every single day. The flavour's just getting richer and richer. And it's getting to the point now where I don't want it to get any richer, you know, it's, oh, it's so good, as it is at the moment. I hope it stays as it is, because the flavours are just so rich you know they're so you all you get is just flavor 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 so for your flavor junkies out there this is great for your cloud chasers obviously why are you going for a 50 50 anyway so there is one juice they did send me it's called doodle bug blue one um i was actually baking that one today at work and i left it at work in my overalls so haven't got that one to show you now but so because i've been baking that all day that let's say that's one of my top five in the in the eight they did send me is Basically, what the flavours are on that is it's a black currant and bubble gum. Now you think black currant and bubble gum doesn't go together really, but it's it's a bit like the current affair, but it's more of you know a kind of fruity kind of flavour on it as well. And I say that one as well. The, the flavour is so rich on that as well. They just ah, oh, it just quenches your taste buds. All these juices do. So sorry, I haven't got that one to review, but like I say that's a, that's another one of my top five. And the next one is this one it's called just peach and um, as you can imagine it is what it says you know <laughs> it is just peach so you know you get when you get kind of peachy ones you can get sort of peachy and cream um there's like a kind of more of a sweet kind of peach but with this one i like the fact that they've just done a just a peach and kind of even just smelling it it's oh they're very 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 sweet their their juices but this one to me just it actually tastes like you're eating a sweet, and I know, oh, well, you've sent these juices, that's why you're saying it like this, but honestly, if these juices were bad, I would say, you know, they could do with some improvement, but i say these first four that I'm doing, so, so good. That is really, really good. That's one of my more refreshing ones. I tend to use this Just Peach one, you know, when I've sort of just had something to eat, and I'll go on that. Now, the last one out of my top five, and my favourite, and if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see that I was actually vaping this one at the weekend. And this is there. It's called Rhubarb Dripple. And as you can see by the label, it's pretty beat up, and there's only a dribble, dribble left in the bottom as well. Because I find every day I go, you know, I'll take a couple of them with me, and I'll always take that one. Always take a rhubarb one, because... I'm thinking, you know, if I say get bored of the other two flavours or, you know, then they're, they're not as good, I can always go back to that one. And I find myself always going back to this one. This one to me is, 
out of all of them they sent me, this hands down is the best out of all of them. Now I haven't tried their others because I have got quite a few in their original range, but I'd say this one is the best that they sent me by far. So let's go. That one just, I remember when I was doing, you used to get like the little, the little sweets, they were red and green and they were rhubarb crumble or rhubarb sweets, I can't remember what they were, but it reminds me, they're really hard sort of candy and they're quite sour as well and I remember just sort of tasting them and that's the good thing about, I find with these juices is, I mean growing up I had a very sweet tooth, you know, always in the sweet shop when I was younger, you know, trying different sweets and this, you know, this is more of like an adult well, way of doing it because you can't now go in the sweet shop, well I can't anyway. You know, unless I'm buying for my daughter or something, but you can't go in there and you can't just start, oh yeah, I remember that, I remember that. But these juices, they just take you right back. Only bad thing about this is that it's nearly gone. So definitely going to be contacting Jeff about this one. Definitely ordering it. And I'd say if you just take one thing away from this video, it would be try this rhubarb one. Because this is, again, like since I've started doing YouTube, I've found two juices that are in my new top five. And these are not necessarily flavours that I would have got, especially the first one I got, which was a blueberry menthol. I would have never gone to the shop to say, oh yeah, let me try a blueberry menthol. And it's the same as this. I would have never said, let me try a rhubarb one. Because it just, to me, it just doesn't sound appealing. Like, to eat rhubarb normally, I'm not a real big fan unless you put loads of sugar on it. And then it's really sweet. But this to me is that it just takes, takes you back to those sweets. And the last three they sent me out of their original range. I'll do this one first. This is called the Andy Murray Mint. <laughs> Which I think is a really, really cool name. I'm surprised no one else has thought of it. It's kind of like a pale greeny kind of liquid. Once again, dripping it on. I'm trying this out. Oh, a bit too much. I'll just wipe a bit off. Now this one, like the others, like I said, when I first got them out of the pack, they needed a bit of steeping time, they needed a bit of breathing time because they were, you know, a bit powdery. And the majority of them, they've got better, you know, they've, the flavours developed on them, it's because they've become a lot more intense. Whereas I find this Andy Murrayman one, this is, it's kind of stayed a little bit powdery and I don't know if that's how it's meant to taste or whether that's just this one and maybe it needs a bit more time. Um, but I found myself every time, you know, I'm trying this one, I've only used a bit out of it. I'm vaping it, vaping it, vaping it. And, you know, I'm always finding myself, oh, you know, the other ones taste so much better. So my opinion on this, and like I say, these, are, these reviews are just my opinion, you know. My opinion is, to me, I'm always finding myself going to another one of their range because, you know, it's not as if all their ranges taste like this, you know, really powdery now. It's, there's a lot, in my opinion anyway, a lot better juices in their range than of these last three that I'm going in for you know but like I say you, you can't please everyone and a few out there there's a lot of people that, that do like this there's good reviews on it and everywhere so I mean if you want to try a minty one because this does actually taste like the mint Murray mints it is a very kind of mellowy minty taste but to me it's got that kind of powdery kind of after note on it which I'm not too keen on myself um, but like I say from watching my other videos as well, if you know that I'm not a big fan of the minty, mentally, mentally sorry, kind of flavours. Um, so yeah, like I say, that was the Andy Murray Mint. So give it, give it a shot, you know, see, see what you think. Let me know what you think. Try, try all these juices, you know, try the ones that I really like. Agree with me in the comments, disagree with me and say, oh, what are you on about, that's disgusting, or, oh, that's really good. What are you saying about the Murray Mint? That's really, really good. So next up is the Hopscotch. And the hopscotch is a butterscotch flavour. And there's a lot of other butterscotch ones. I've been sent a couple recently that I've been trying. And, you know, this is another one that I've, I've never, as a, as a kid, never really ever been into the whole butterscotch kind of thing. Um, but, you know, that's, that's a good thing about doing reviews. That's a good thing about trying sample packs. That's a good thing to go into your vape shop and just try. Because don't just go to your vape shop and try juices that you normally try. Go there and try things like you know, these other ones that you think, oh, that doesn't sound very nice. And just try it anyway. You may like it, you may not, but at least you know. So I say, this is hopscotch. And 
And like the, like the Murray Mint, this one has still got a slight powdery, to me anyway, slight powdery taste I can taste, you know. The, the flavour is not very, not very strong on this one. It's, it's quite a dull flavour to me. Now this one, I have been, you know, I've been giving it around at work, you know, saying to other people at Vape at work, saying, oh, give this one a go, try this, try that. And they've been trying it. And the general consensus on this one is they really like it. They kind of like that kind of, it's not a sweet flavour, it's more of like a savoury sweetie, but more on the savoury side kind of flavour. And there's a lot of people that prefer that to just, you know, your sweet candy, sweet kind of, Polary kind of drinky flavours. Um, so I say a lot of people do like that. And one of them did ask, after you've done your review, can I have this one? So the last actual Jeff juice that they sent me is this one, Lemon Pip. Now, I saved this one till last because, you know, we've gone from major highs and now we're going to, kind of, unfortunately, major lows on this one. Now this, the smell of it, it kind of it reminds me of like a kind of like a lem sip mixed with a kind of like lemony kind of icing on a cake. That's what it reminds me of. So let's put it on, give it a go. You get a very, very strong hit of kind of lemony lem sip taste um, and it, you know you know the sort of things you know when you have a cold and you take those sort of the little powdery lem sips and they're mixed with paracetamol and they're you know better make you feel better um, and that's exactly what you get off this one I find this one very very hard to, to vape um, now I know you can make brilliant brilliant flavours like the ones we've just shown here and if this is what you're going for then you've nailed it because like every other one it is exactly what it says just this one to me is just it just doesn't seem to sit right with me um, but like you say you win some you lose some you? some are good some aren't um, but yeah I mean it's you don't really get many lemony kind of vapes like tastes like this I've tried a few other lemony ones like lemon cheesecake um, other ones like that, but I don't know for some reason it just doesn't seem to doesn't seem to sit right with this one. So sorry, Jeff, not a big fan of your lemon one, mate. Sorry. And last up is the King's Vape Cola Carver. This is what they sent me. Now, when I got home, so I've been doing everything on my Alliance V2, you know, everything on the dripper. And I know these 50-50 PG blends, you shouldn't really be dripping them, you should be putting them in the tank. But for the sake of review, I've got so many to get through all week, I'm dripping them, you know, and then they, they're over spilling, you know, because they're, they're very thin. They should be in your tanks. And they do a max VG range, which is 80-20, 80 VG, 20 PG. And that would be, perfect for putting in your dripper so I'm going to order the flavours I do like I'm going to speak to Jeff get some of them sent over for the max VG range so I can actually enjoy them properly on a dripper so I say this is the cola carver which is cola and champagne now sorry when I got home I was so excited you know tried the other ones and I was like oh they're so powdery what's going on all right I'll let them breathe I'll them, let them breathe you know let the flavours develop so pop the lid off put a new wick in and I dropped this cola carver on there. Without reading the bottle, I only read the front where it says cola carver, cola and champagne. Oh my god, cola, I love cola, let's try it, smell it. Such like a syrupy, cola -y sort of smell to it. Really, really good, really indulgent. So I popped it on, 35 watts, took a hit. Like that. Ugh. But that the first time, coughed my guts up. Oh, what's that? It smells so good. And I looked at the side, and it's five milligram. So what I was getting, I was getting a massive, massive hit. Now it's only a 60-40 PG VG, 
sorry, VGPG. Um, but the five milligram on there just literally knocks me away. It's, and since doing that, I have tried it, you know, in a tank. I've been using this one in my um, my sub own tank, and I've been vaping it, and it's a lot better in there. The flavour on that is so so intense. You get the kind of it's kind of like a grown up cola flavour. Now I'd need to check online. I should have done this really, but need to check online to see if cola and champagne is an actual drink. Is it a cocktail? If so, let me know in the comments. Um, so I say I've been trying that one and. That is a very, very intense cola flavour. Very intense. It's, you know, it's... To me, this one even needs to be, you know, mellow. I need to mix it a bit more. And I was thinking of doing that, you know, mixing it with a bit more VG, you know, to bring the nicotine ratio down. And trying it then after that. i say they're great. So, all in all, my top pick flavours are... We'll start in fifth place. In fifth place is the Just Peach... In fourth place is the Doodlebug, which I don't have. Just imagine me holding a blue bottle here, saying Doodlebug on it. The third place is probably the Fruit Salad. It's great. Second place, Current Affair, the Black Currently one. And first place, hands down, one of the best flavours I've tried this year anyway, is the Rhubarb Dripple. So, if you want to check Jeff out, Juicy Fruit, Either the way I normally talk to him is on Twitter at Juicy Fruit 2015. Um, you can get them as well at juicyfruit.com, which is juiceefruit.com. And you go on there, just check out their website. It's so fun, you know, everything they've got on there. You see the guys there doing goofy things, you know, and messing around, taking silly photos as well. It's a very fun, very vibrant company that they've got. and. You know, they were so kind to send me these to review for you guys. And, you know, posting things on their Twitter account as well. They're so popular. Every time they post something, they get loads of likes, loads of retweets. They're such a popular company. And you can read about their trip when the guys at Jeff, they actually went to Indonesia. And they were sort of going around and they were sort of showing people what vaping is. And people are asking them questions. And they were trying to, you know, promote all their products. And it's a brilliant, brilliant read on there. Give that a read as well. Um, but say check them out, let them know that I sent you, you never know you might get something. <laughs> so anyway, if you do like this video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe, it does really really help. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, goodbye.